All right, in this video, I'm going to discuss the proof for the probability um, of the union of two events. Okay, so what is the theorem? The theorem states that the probability, so for any two events, okay, uh, the probability of A union B, okay, A union B, remember what does union mean? Union is like or, so for all the elements in A or elements in B, this equals the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of AB, okay? And, um, you know, a lot of times students will tell me, well, wait a second, I, I thought the probability for the union of two events is just this piece right here. What is this other piece back here? Well, if you have disjoint events, then it's just this piece up here. But whenever you don't have disjoint events, so for any two events, that's when you're gonna need this back piece, okay? Um, and just a notation note, I'm kind of being lazy on my notation here. Um, when I say probability of A, B, this is the same thing as the probability of A uh, intersection B. And you'll see, um, you know, this written both ways, depending on the statistician that's doing, you know, writing it out and how lazy they are. Um, because a lot of the times, you know, so intersection, uh, you can just kind of, it means A and B, right? Intersection means um, and. So a lot of times people just don't write anything between the, the two events and they just kind of leave it like that. Uh, union though, always we have the U for union, okay? But intersection, it's, um, you know, A and B, right? So you just write them right next to each other. Okay, um, all right, so let's go ahead and prove this theorem. Why is this, um, you know, why is this true? Okay, what's the proof? Uh, first thing, let me go ahead and draw this out. So suppose this is um, all the elements in A, okay? And um, this is all the elements in B, all right? Um, so I'm going to call this here, right, this here, Right. This is, what do we have here? This is um, everything that's in A and B complement, right? Everything that's in A and B complement, or A intersection B complement, okay? Um, right here, let's see, I'm gonna use a different color. This section right here, and this in-between section, this is uh, everything that is in A and B, A intersection B, right? And then lastly, um, this section back here, this is everything that's in B and A complement, right? Everything that's in B and not in A. Okay, once you've broken it out like this, uh, that's basically the hard work for this proof, actually. All right, so let's see, how do we go ahead and do this proof? So what we wanna know is, what is the probability of A intersection, oops, I wrote that wrong way, intersection B, all right? Remember, what does intersection mean? It means all the elements in A or B, so that's basically all three of these pieces. So this is going to be the probability of A, B complement, union, A, B, union, A, complement, B. Right, I just kind of reverse this instead of writing B, A, um, A complement. So that's the same thing as A complement, B, right? All right, so Let's see, I just wanna double check. All right, good. So I basically have those three pieces there. All right, now, since these three pieces are disjoint, they are now disjoint pieces. These are disjoint pieces, this piece, this piece, and this piece. Now I can just straight up break it down with addition. So this is going to be the probability of A, B complement, plus the probability of A, B, plus the probability of A complement B, 
All right, why are they disjoint? Because they don't share any elements, right? I've very clearly have marked off, so everything in yellow here is A, B complement, everything in orange is A, B, and everything in pink is A complement B, same thing, right? So um, the, the none, no elements are shared uh, between these three different events. So that's what they're disjoint, disjoint events, okay? All right, so this is going to be, this is what the probability of A union B is. All right, so now I just need to, um, you know, figure out, well, what, it, what are these probabilities, basically? All right, so let me start with, let me start with the probability. First off, what is the probability of A? Here's A, okay. So what's the probability of A? The probability of A is the probability of A, B complement, right, this yellow piece, plus the probability of A, B, right, this piece here, this orange piece. That's the probability of A. All right, so uh, we can rewrite that. Actually, I guess let me go ahead and do that here. Um, say I want to solve this for this piece here. All right, let me go ahead and rewrite this. So I'm gonna, basically I'm solving for this piece here, so I wanna go ahead and, sub, let's see, um, subtract A, B from both sides, right? Let's just kinda rearrange this um, equation here. Okay, so this is going to be, so I'll have the probability of A minus the probability of a b, right? So I just did some algebra and rearranged this equation here. Okay, so I subtracted this uh, probability of a b from both sides, and then just kind of rearranged it. All right. So now let's next let's do. Let me scroll down. Find the probability of b. Right here is probability of b. Okay. So what is the probability of b? This is going to equal the probability of, um, let's start with A complement B, this pink piece, plus the probability of A, B. Okay, so if I want to solve for this piece here, this is going to equal, so let me go ahead and rewrite this. This is going to equal what do I have? I have the probability of B minus the probability of AB. Just did some rearranging and kind of, of, of this equation here. Okay? All right, so great. So now I have, I have two pieces. So I have this piece here solved right here. Okay? And I have this piece here solved. So let's go ahead and plug these guys in, all right? It's getting a little messy, but it's gonna all kind of cancel out here and look really pretty here in a second. So I have the probability of A union B equals, so what I'm doing is I'm kind of going back from right here, right, I'm gonna plug it in. So I'm gonna plug in this orange piece right here. Let's plug in this piece here for right here. So I have the probability of A minus the probability of AB. Right, I'm gonna leave that centerpiece, the probability of AB, I'm gonna leave that right there. Right, so this guy didn't, nothing happened to it. And then for the pink piece down here, that's this piece down here. Let's go ahead and plug that in. Probability of B minus the probability of AB. All right, let's see what we have here. Do anything cancel? Yes, this piece cancels with that piece. All right, so what am I left with? The probability of A intersection B equals the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of AB. Shoo, it's a lot of work, right? But we got there, that's our proof. That is what the theorem says, and this is how you get there. Okay, so basically once you've broken it down into these just joint events, 
you're able to kind of break it up, break up the probability into a sum, and then you can kind of solve for some of these weird pieces of the sum and kind of just use algebra to arrive at that conclusion of, um, you know, for, for the theorem. All right.